Hey everybody, this is Ryan McClanahan with History2Cards.com. I hope you're all doing very well today. Last night I was at a virtual meeting of SABR, the Society for American Baseball Research, and they had an interview with Keith O'Brien, who is an author and he has a book coming out um, quite shortly actually called Charlie Hustle, The Rise and Fall of Pete Rose. And this was an awesome interview. I really enjoyed it. And I'll leave a link in the uh, description below so you guys can watch it. I really highly recommend that you do so. You'll see me too. I was looking forward to this for a while now because it kind of reminded me of um, when I was a kid watching Pete Rose play in the 83 World Series. And, uh, you know, the 83 World Series is one of my favorites, actually. And uh, it just it brought back so many memories of me watching Pete Rose. And I remember when he, um, he broke the record uh, for the most hits in 1984 when he was with the Expos. Uh, I think I've told you guys before uh, my story uh, about this particular Pete Rose card. So how I got into vintage actually uh, initially was when I was in the fourth grade and my teacher brought us to a card shop to learn about math and problem solving skills. And while all my uh, classmates were uh, checking out all the uh, the modern cards at the time, uh, I was over at the, the vintage section and I had never seen vintage cards before. So there was T205s and T206s, 1951 tops. And this particular card, whoop, this particular card right here and uh well i didn't buy this card then but i was kind of like you know transfixed because you know everybody knew who pete rose was i knew who pete rose was since i was a little kid and you know i, I had all modern cards then and i did have a 87 uh tops pete rose i love the the manager card actually it's one of my favorite cards in that set but uh this card caught my eye and I wasn't sure if I really liked it or if I didn't. And it's it's kind of confusing because the, the burlap background they got here, it it may work. I'm not sure. It's you know, it's it's kind of like art or literature, what you like, I might not like, and what I like for uh cards and, and literature you guys might not like. Same with movies too. But this uh this card was at fifty dollars at the time and I was like, hmm. How do I get my hands on 50 bucks? So I uh, I went home and I scrounged for cash and change and all this stuff. And I mowed a couple of lawns and I was like, yes, I'm going to go get a Pete Rose card. And uh, I went back to the shop maybe a couple of weeks later and none of those cards are there. Obviously, the Pete Rose card wasn't there. And... I thought like, oh, there, there goes that chance. And I think I only had like $23 on me or something like that. It was, I think it may have been like 20 bucks. So I, I bought a uh, box of Don Russ, the rookies set. Uh, and, you know, that, that was a mistake too at the time. I, I think it was like 1989 or so. Uh, but uh, this was like right before Pete Rose had gotten busted. And I remember when he got busted too, because it was such a shock. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my God, Pete Rose did what? So uh, Keith O'Brien here, I, I think that he is going to tell you guys some information here that you might not know. Uh, I, I haven't got the book yet. I'm, I'm pre-ordering it. Um, and I'm not paid for this at all. So... So I, I just want to share this with you guys, and maybe I think you might enjoy this book, um, or at least listen to what Keith has to say about this, and, and the interview is below uh, in the comment section. And uh, also, guys, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I have like maybe 50 more subscribers for 500, and uh, it is kind of a personal goal of mine, because I've been here for maybe two years or so on YouTube. And uh, I'm just kind of like eking it out here but with everybody else. So I'm not special, but it's it's just something that I would love to uh, to do is have 500 subscribers. And uh, also, guys, let me know what you think 
uh, in this comment section below what do you think about Pete Rose and if you have any favorite Pete Rose cards now I, I do uh, I bought the uh, 68 tops Pete Rose here um, quite a number of years ago and I think it's one of the first cards I got when I got a job so uh, well a long long time ago uh, and then I, I do have his, his 67 and his uh, 69 tops his 65 tops I just got um, last year I can't find it though I is graded I love the 65 tops Pete Rose and it is kind of a difficult card to acquire it's a little on the pricey side uh, whereas a lot of other Pete Rose cards are not um, and I could go on and on about Pete Rose's cards and which ones that are pretty difficult actually I'm thinking of going on a Pete Rose run here and I don't like the rookie card I really don't it's um it's not for me I, I think I prefer the 64 over the 63 tops and I'll probably discuss the 63 tops at uh, Pete Rose at some other point in time because it is one of the most forged cards that there is and uh, it was when I was a little kid too but uh, I'll get into that in another video however guys uh, I wanted to tell you today about the uh, rise and fall of Pete Rose and uh, Keith O'Brien's uh, interview on SABR and that is going to be in the description below so uh, thanks again for watching and I will talk to you later have a good one bye